Hello, my name is Lily and I'm from the Customer Thermometer Support Team. I'm here to show you how to set up an Outlook signature. So, first off, what we're going to do is log in to your Customer Thermometer account and you'll be brought to the dashboard. So this is our demo account that I'm just going to walk you through. So from the dashboard, we want to go to the Manage Thermometers tab and we want to go to Embedded Thermometers. Here, you'll want to select Add Embedded Thermometer. So as we're going to be creating an Outlook signature thermometer, from the first drop down embedded thermometer type, we'll want to go for Outlook signature. Now for this, we're going to use the standard Outlook signature integration. If you have Outlook Office 365, you will need to select this option and your setup will be different. Um, so if you're just looking for a standard setup, we're just gonna select the Outlook signature. We will not be using a lockout please do not use lockouts for any Outlook thermometers as it will end up blocking a lot of your recipient's responses, which we don't want. Um, next, you'll want to name your thermometer. Next option is MPS. So you can choose whether you want this enabled or disabled, and there are a couple of different enabled options here. You can find out more about how we calculate MPS and the difference between these options in our MPS overview, which can be found in our user guide. The next thing you wanna add is what question you'd like to ask. So ours is just going to be, how did we do for you today? You'll next need to select your icons. So you've got a few different ones in this library here, but you can actually upload your own if you have any specific logo you want to use or brand company colors. You can upload your own and use those. I'm just going to select these stars for now. And then your next option is enabling your email alerts. So these boxes indicate when you want to be told about the rating. So if you just want to know about gold and red, just select those boxes. Or if you want to know about them all, you can tick all four. The next thing you'll need to do is add the email address of the person you want to receive those email alerts underneath. So this could be a manager or a team leader. And what that does is when a recipient clicks on an icon and enters their email address or a comment, an alert will instantly be fired to the person's email address in these fields, telling them what color was hit and also any information about the recipient. Once you have that all saved, you'll next want to go to your landing page setup. So I've got an example of a landing page on the screen now, and this is the page which shows after a recipient has clicked an icon. And the reason we have landing pages is that it confirms to the recipient that their rating has been submitted, so their feedback has gone through, um, which stops them from clicking multiple times, and it also helps us pass the information back into customer thermometer. So this is an example of one for a beauty brand. You can customize these in any way that you like um, to fall into your brand. Brand. So you can customize your footer. We've got an advert image here, which you can have a URL behind. We've got our logo. We've got our nice company color around it. So if I take you back into the landing page settings, we have these preview buttons at the top. So you can preview what your landing page is going to look like whilst you make your adjustments. Um, and as you can see here, we've got a lots of different things you can customize. Now we do have a guide for the landing page in our user guide. So I won't go through it all, but there are two key things I will point out for this Outlook signature thermometer. The first is the recipient email address. So we would really like to enable this for Outlook thermometers, and that's because we cannot capture the email address automatically with Outlook via a single click. And the reason for that is, is because Outlook itself, and it's the same with Gmail, unfortunately, they do not have dynamic footers or variables or placeholders. And what that means is it means we can't capture the information um, due to those limitations of Outlook and Gmail. Therefore, to work around that, we offer this enable email address capture tool, um, which will appear on the landing page and it gives the recipient the opportunity to enter in their email address um, and identify themselves. Um, and another thing to look at is the comment setup. So once again, similar to the email alerts, we want to select which pages we want the customer or the recipient to be able to enter a comment on. So if we just want them to leave comments on gold and red, we can leave it as that. If we want them to leave comments on all landing pages, we can select all four. And once again, pop in the name of the team leader or manager you want to receive the email alerts. So I'm just gonna put my own email address in there for now.
Now, as I scroll down, you'll have all your landing page text. So for girls, you'll see we've got we're delighted. For red, you'll see we've got we're worried. And these can all be edited. As we scroll further down, you can select your font, you can add your social media buttons, upload your logos. Um, there's loads of cool customization in here. And as mentioned earlier, you can find how to set this up on our landing page setup guide within the user guide. Now, once you've built out your thermometer and you have your landing page set up as you would like, you can then hit the generate embed code button at the top. Then you'll see this pop up appears. Now, this is where we need to save all our icons and generate our links, so our specific links. So first off, what we need to do is we need to right click and we need to save each of these icons somewhere easy to find on your laptop or computer. Once you've saved all four, we then need to generate our own unique URLs or response links. So below you'll see we have a series of custom fields and we'll need to fill out these with our own details to create four of our own unique links personalized to you or your colleague. So in custom one, we would put the sender's name and in custom two, we could put the sender's email address. In custom three, you can even put the department or team that that person is in. So I'm just going to fill this out. Next, hit generate hyperlinks and you'll see that four unique links are created. If I just scroll along this one a little bit, you'll be able to see here that my details have been captured in this link. And that means that if someone hits this link, it'll be against me, which means that if someone clicks a gold, my name, my email address and my team, so support, will show next to that response in customer thermometer. This will help you see who is receiving what ratings. So to add them into Outlook, we'll need to go to our signature section and select signatures. As you can see, I've already got one pre-built here from the other day. Um, so we're going to start from fresh with this demo Outlook one. So firstly, we want to type in what our question is going to be. And then the next step is adding in our icons. So you'll need to click and then click this little button here. Then you'll need to go into where your icons are kept and simply select them like so. Gold, green, amber, and red. If you want to resize these icons, you can do, but you'll need to them externally in Photoshop or any type of image editing software that you might have. Um, alternatively, you can email us and we can do this for you. So once you have them all added into there, underneath we can add our descriptions. So for example, we can have great. So I've added a few here just by simply typing them underneath. So I've got great, good, not great, bad. You can have any type of wording you want underneath such as okay instead of not great or excellent or boo, <laughs> anything that you want. After you've got your icons in and your descriptions, we'll then need to add our links. So you'll need to pop in back into customer thermometer where we generated our links. You'll need to highlight the gold link and then jump back into your Outlook, select the star, and select this link button here where it says address, paste in the link and click OK. And repeat that process matching the green link with the green star, the amber with the amber star and the red with the red star. If you'd like to have the survey going out on every single email from Outlook, you can go up to the top and select your signature. Of course, if you have um, a signature with your number on and your name and everything like that, you can of course just paste the signature in underneath your original signature that you already have um, set up. So it doesn't have to be a brand new signature like this. If you already have, for example, Lily Blanchet, customer support, telephone, email, all of that, you can simply just decide whether you want the signature to go above it or below it. Okay, so then we just click save. Awesome, so that's how you get the signature into your Outlook and add it on your emails going out. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know by emailing ministry at customerthermometer.com. If you have multiple people in a team or multiple people that you want to be using the survey, don't forget you'll have to go back in to your pop-up, remove the information and then start typing in your next colleague's information. So their first and last name, their email address and their 
um, team or department name. And then you'll need to hit generate hyperlinks again to create their four unique links. Thank you ever so much and have a lovely rest of your day.